Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And we've got potentially exciting league action coming up on the menu for you. It's Karl Zeiss Jena and they take on Sonnenhof Groß Aspach. Yeah, thanks Derek. Should be a good game this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot, fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. The line-up then for the hosts. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. This is how the visitors will set up today. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. The game commences. Fruitful looking attack. And options in the centre. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. And over comes the corner. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. And space for the cross. Slipshod passing. Teammates could potentially join in. Happy to take on the shot. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. They've regained possession. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Looks promising this. More! And the shot decidedly lacking accuracy. Well, he had other options as well, but he chose to shoot.
might be able to get in behind the defence. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Every pass hitting its target. And very deftly cut out. A foul, but advantage played. in the nick of time patient build up at the moment crossing opportunity crossed accurately towards the far post and a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, you will concede less goals if you stop the crosses. On this occasion, they don't, and they pay the ultimate penalty. The ball's in the back of the net. Stop the cross. Well, let's have another view of that goal. One nil then. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. And there it is, the half-time whistle. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball. But on the break, they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Making progress. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Patience enough build up. Can they? It's there for him. And he got to it fairly easily. And a chance for him on the flank. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Slipshot passing.
Not a shocking pass, really. Firing is in. Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. So the corner played into the box. Poor execution with regard to the corner. Throw-ins given. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Happy to take on the shot. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Gaines on the ball. They do pass the ball with authority. Cleared away comprehensively. Well, just listen to the atmosphere, Derek. It's been such a tight game, but can they see this out now? The fans are certainly doing their bit. It comes to absolutely nothing. And it's a case of just five minutes left. But well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. No nonsense clearance. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. play it in and the no-nonsense clearance we've had the official word there will be a minimum of two added minutes he's given it straight to the opposition good looking sequence and the referee's whistle that is the end of the story